Welcome back to Tain Slade Info. When Pakistan and China collaborated to develop a fighter jet, everyone would have thought the fighter is going to be good enough to power their fleet and it will also reduce Pakistan's dependency on other countries for their fighter requirements. These JF-17 Thunder fighters, which have been developed by both China and Pakistan, comes in four variants like the JF-17A Block 1, the JF-17A Block 2, the JF-17B Block 2 and JF-17C Block 3. The Block 3 variant is the latest variant of JF-17 fighter developed and even though 10 Block 3 production aircraft were rolled out, there is no official confirmation whether these were procured by the Pakistan Air Force. Now coming to the export of these fighters to other countries, until now only two countries operate these fighters apart from Pakistan themselves. The countries which I am talking about are Nigeria and Myanmar. The main reason for coming up with this particular video is to provide the latest update coming from the different sources regarding the various problems which the Myanmar Air Force is facing post procuring these JF-17 fighters. And we will also see how they are still looking for someone to fix these issues. Myanmar Air Force currently operates almost 7 JF-17 Thunder fighters and it is said that there are 9 more on order from Pakistan. With the 7 which they are already operating, there are a lot of issues which they are yet to fix and ensure these fighters are combat ready. To list down the various issues which these fighters are facing, the first major problem is with the availability of the spare parts for the Klimo RD-93 engine which is powering these JF-17 fighters. And this is affected a lot due to the sanctions on the Russian's weapons company Rosperon Export. Second problem is with the airframe of these aircrafts which are made by China. According to a Myanmar Air Force pilot, whenever the JF-17 fighter experiences severe gravitational pressure, the airframe is prone to get damaged and that too particularly the wing tips and the hard points. Such issues with the airframe of the fighter is something very serious and needs immediate attention. Not only that, it's always risky to fly such fighters during war situations. During a war scenario, fighters getting shot by missiles have some justification. But with the JF-17, it's like the fighter itself will fall due to its own issues. As per the latest update, it seems a couple of visits which were made by both Pakistan Air Force maintenance crew members and also the engineers from Pakistan Aeronautical Complex are still unable to repair the majority of fighters which are operated by Myanmar Air Force. The main issues as I said before are due to the shortage or unavailability of spare parts and also the issues with airframe which is something that can't be taken care of so easily. Due to these issues, Myanmar Air Force has lost hope with these JF-17 fighters and they are depending on the Russian Sukhoi Su-30 SME and MiG-29 and other fighters for their combat. If they are still waiting for more JF-17 fighter procurement, it's better to cancel them and spend that money to procure some better fighter jets. The information which I have shared in this particular video is based on the information and updates which I have collated from various different sources, so please consider this video as an update in a summarized manner. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.